Hello everyone, welcome to Pratibha Tech. In this video, we will solve the problem of the day question on Geeks for Geeks for 18th March 2023. The problem statement for today is median of the subarrays. This, this problem is based on sorting and map and it, this has been asked in a sprinkler interview. Let's now open this, this problem to solve it. Let's go through and understand the given problem statement. Here it is said given an array of n integers and an integer m, the task is to count the number of arrays which have medium, median m. Median of an array is defined as below. So here it is given two scenarios. If n is odd, then the median, median value is the number that is in the middle after sorting the array. Okay. If n is even, the median value is the left of the two middle numbers after sorting the array. Okay, so if the number is odd, then we have to just consider the middle one. But if the uh, total number of uh, integers, that means the array size is even. So we have to consider the lower of the middle elements. Because if we have array size as 6, so in between, if you see if you see that uh, 6 elements are there, then in between 2 two elements are there that comes in between of that array. So we have to take the smaller one. So examples are given for this problem. Let's go through them. So here it is said that n is equal to 5, m is equal to 2 and uh, this is the given array which is 2, 1, 3, 5, 4. So the output is 3. So the total number of subarrays which has median equal to m are 2, 2, 1, 3 and 2, 1, 3, 5. So how we got output 3 here? So let's, uh, I'll just try to explain it this, this one only. So here in this example, uh, whatever um, the approach we are, will follow. So that will first iterate over the sub array 2. And uh, since it is said this condition that we will get either the middle or left of the middle one after sorting the array. So we will sort that to get 2 only because only one element is there. Then check. If the median is equal to m, which is 2, since the median is equal to m, so we will increment the count variable to 1 for this one. Now, next time when the subarray would become 2, 1, 3, now we sort it to get 1, 2, 3 and check if the median is equal to m. So for 1, 2, 3, uh, yes, we can see that 2 is the middle element and 2 is the median. Since the median is equal, we will increment the count variable to 2. Finally, when that uh, sub array becomes 2, 1, 3, 5, we'll sort it and we'll get 1, 2, 3, 5. And this, this time we check what is the median of uh, this sub array. So here we can see if, if we check 1, 2, 3, 5, so we'll get two middle elements that is 2 and 3. And since it has been given in the question, the median value is the left of the two middle elements. So the left or the smaller one will be uh, 2 here. So since here the median is equal to m which is 2 we increment the count to count to 3 so that's why the uh, the solution of this one it says it is 3 which have the median equal to 2 okay i hope this is clear so for the next example it is n is equal to 1 m is equal to 1 and in uh, this array is having one value so here the output is 1 because the subarray which has median equal to 1 is 1 only because only one element is there so I hope this much is clear. So the approach which we will use to solve this problem will be a sliding window technique which will count the number of sub arrays whose sum is greater than or equal to the given number m. The sliding window approach involves maintaining a window of contiguous elements whose sum is greater than or equal to m. Initially the window is placed at the beginning of the array and the sum of the elements within the window is calculated. If the sum is greater than or equal to m, then the count of subarrays with sum greater than m is increased by the length of the window. Then the window is moved to the right by one element and the sum is recalculated. If the sum is still greater than or equal to m, then the count is increased again. This process we will repeat until the window size reaches the end of the array. So here this uh, in this uh, solution the approach of um, sliding window concept it will use a frequency array to store the frequency of each possible cumulative sum of the arrays. We start with a cumulative sum of n since 
the sum of an empty array is zero we are treat through the array and update the cumulative sum and frequencies for each element we calculate the difference in the cumulative sum if we add the current element if the difference is negative then we need to subtract the frequency of the cumulative element uh, cum cumulative sum that is the difference away okay and if the difference is positive then we need to add the frequency of the current cumulative sum to the total count then what we'll do we'll update the current cumulative sum and frequency array then finally we return the count of sub arrays where uh, uh, where sum is greater than or equal to m to get the resultant we need to subtract the count of sub arrays with sum greater than or equal to m plus 1 from the count of sub arrays with sum greater than or equal to m so i hope uh, and this can, this is clear that uh, how and why we are using this window uh, this sliding window concept here so with that approach only whatever we discussed i've just prepared a solution so instead of typing it just to save time i'll just copy it here so here like previous solutions i have given the detailed comments in each statement so that it becomes self explanatory so but yeah but then also i'll i'll just uh, um, explain whatever is done in this one so we are defining a, a first initially it is given as the count sub array with a n a m which takes the length of array n uh, array a of the integers and medium value m as input so now in this one we are initializing the function by calling get sub array count function with the medium value n and subtracting the result of the another get sub get sub array count this one function call with the medium value m plus 1 from it okay so first we are calling this then we are calling this and whatever the result and we get from this then we subtract from the first one and return the result okay so in this function uh, this one uh, whichever we are calling from here so we define the function get sub array count with n array and m which takes in like uh, which takes in the length of array n the in the array array a double r um, of integers and the median value m as input now we are, we are creating here a frequency array frequency of length 2 into n plus 1 to keep track of the frequencies of each possible cumulative sum of the array i hope this is clear so we are creating this one so even if you read this one then i have given all those comments in detail so now we we initialize a total variable to zero a variable count to zero and variable current sum to n this one no so see um uh, so we, now we will set uh, we are setting the first element of frequency to 1 since the sum of array uh, sum of empty array is zero now i trade over each element i in the array list and we calculate the difference of the cumulative sum if we add the current element if the difference is greater than or equal to m set the difference to 1 otherwise set it to minus 1 this part now the next part of this uh, iteration if the difference is negative so if the difference is is negative then subtract the frequency of the cumulative sum that is the difference away from the total count if the difference is positive add the frequency of the total cumulative sum to the total count this one so first we are if it is negative then we are subtracting else we are adding it now once this is done then update the update the current cumulative sum by adding the difference to it then we add current value to the total count to the overall count of the sub, sub arrays i hope this is clear that we are adding current value of the total count to the overall count of the sub array this one we are adding total to the overall count then we are updating the frequency array by incrementing the frequency of the current cumulative sum and then at last we return the count of sub arrays with the sum greater than or equal to the median value which was m that that had that we had passed to this as a parameter i hope this is clear so even this this comments let me just give some comments so that it is it will be easily visible
I hope now this would be properly visible each comment. Yeah, it looks fine. Here also I'll just press give some enter so that it will come to the next line. So this was the coding part of it. Uh, so and uh, with all the explanation which I have given. So now let's try compiling this code. So here we can see we have got our uh, we have got correct output for this given example here given input. Now let's try submitting the solution. So here we can see it has passed all the test cases and this problem has been solved successfully. So talking about the time complexity of the solution which I have just given. So the time complexity is in, in the order of big O of n since it iterates through the array once and perform constant type operation for each element. The, the, the another method which is that count sub array function uh, calls uh, the method here this one count sub array calls get sub sub array count twice. We are calling this one, one uh, first here and this one here. So the total time complexity is big of n since the time complexity of the subtraction is negligible compared to the time complexity of the get sub array count. So we are doing the here uh, the subtraction operation. So the time complexity doesn't matter here because it is such a minor operation. So therefore the overall time complexity is big of n only. I hope everything is clear all the explanation time complexity analysis everything is done. Okay, so I'll be providing the link for this question in the description box. Please do check that. That's all in this video. Please like, comment and share the video and please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.